What's good, everybody? Glitch Brothers Wayne through here. Yo, last day of the Tupac grind. We uh, we're starting the day off with a letter to the president from Tupac, Outlaws, and a feature, Big Sky. So, we we knew T Tupac was very political in his uh, music. So this comes to no surprise. And I'm really curious to see what he actually says, because he's said a lot of controversial stuff about the president, which at the time that he was alive, I believe, you guys said it was Bill Clinton. I want to, I want to make sure of that. Let me go ahead. I want to look real quick. Oh yeah, y'all guys said Bill Clinton, so I appreciate that first of all. Um, but we finna, we finna just check this out. We got one more two ball reaction coming out later, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Other than that, let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, dear Mr. President, what's happening? I'm writing you because shit is still real fucked up in my neighborhood. Pretty much the same way, right around the time when you got a Ain't nothing. Mm. Y'all coming all y'all coming off just like that? He said, he said the neighborhood's still messed up, and it's been messed up since you've been elected. Dang, bro. I don't know a lot about any of the presidents in general, but, like, I don't know what they did good or what they did bad, but they always do stuff bad, so. But, man, they, they really ride, they really ride in Clinton right now. Ain't nothing changed. All the promises you made. Before you got elected. Tell me what to do. These niggas acting up. Ain't the hood true. Send more troops to you, Mr. President. Me and my homies just wonder what's going on. Holla. Busted out loud when I can traumatize. Niggas fell victim to my lyrics now traumatized. Simply by spitting, I've been blessed, giving riches. Enemies, suspicious, cause I'm seldom in the company of bitches. Plus the concepts I depict. So visual that you can kiss each and every trick of bitch inside the shit. He said this is, is so visual that you can kiss every trigger that I've been pulling. Mm. You know what that would remind me of? That little like intro right there. That kind of reminded me of Ice Cube's um, the beginning of Ice Cube Ice Cube's uh album, the the um the America's Most Wanted, the intro to that album. That's what that reminded me of right there. Concepts I depict, so visual that you can kiss each and every trick of bitch inside the shit I kick. My heaviest verbs to move a mountain, casualties and mass amounts. He said my heaviest words can move a mountain. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's facts though. That's facts. The shit I kick. My heaviest verbs to move a mountain, casualties and mass amounts. But to keep out of the fridge and I like what he did with that little flip of mountain. I like that. That was clean. The shit I kick. My heaviest verbs to move a mountain, casualties and mass amounts. But to keep out and fuck the fridge since I ride alone. Destination death row, finally found a home. Plus all my homies wanna die, call her euthanasia. Dear Lord, look how sick this ghetto made us. Sincerely, yours, I'm a thug. The product of a broken home, everybody's doped up. Nigga, what you smoking on? Forget we hide, it could train us. But then America fucked up and blamed. He said we could get hide and trade us, but then America really screwed us over. Well, they started putting the blame on us. That's tough, man. That's tough, man. And you know America rides with it because, because they're black. I'm sorry to say it, but I mean that's true. Like, man, I really wish I knew that. Like, it seems like a lot of like hip hop artists really do have issues with um like just presidents in general even now to this day man hip hop artists are very like they're very um indifferent about their uh political views they really are man especially this past year man oh man there are a lot of artists speaking about what was happening last year and then you got <laughs> you got Asia Orange over there was getting supported by Lil Pump. That's tough. Forget we hide it could train us, but then America fucked up and blamed us. I guess it's cause we black that the targets. My only fear is God. 
Okay, so it's not wrong that I said it. <laughs> it's not wrong that I said it. It's not wrong that I said it now. Because literally, he go next in line, he goes, I guess it's because we're black. They, it's so easy, like, we're so easy to target. The world we live in, man. Because we black, that we target. My only fear is God. I spit that hard shit. In case you don't know, I let my pump go. Get robbed from a tool like I ride for Geronimo. Damn it, die for everything I represent. Every word in my letter to the president. Dear Mr. President, tell me what to do. These niggas acting up. What should I do? You hear what he's doing right there? He said he he's literally dear Mr. President. What should I do? Cause these boys are acting up. Are you gonna send more troops? That's a, that's one thing that I find consistently with rappers and uh, politics. They always talking about how the how we're sending over troops to somewhere for them to basically just to get killed. You know, like. That seems to be a constant thing, so it must, it must it must be a real like political issue just sending troops over for no reason. So, but y'all guys let me know what 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 specifically did Clinton do to anger Pac? You know, cause like obviously he doesn't like the guy, but I mean what what specifically did he say? Or what specifically did he promise and that he didn't do? I just realized a freaking that's why I'm freaking not talk so loud. Make sure that I didn't mess up the recording. Okay, no, I didn't. But y'all let me know. Y'all let me know for real. Did I hit record? Okay, I did. It's about to be real frustrated. I hope you're comfortable because yo, I spend my nights out When the lights out, under the safety of darkness Amongst the trays and the heartless And young so broke, ready to roll the star shit Hard shit, even made a flat for scratch Regardless, I gotta get to But you can't understand that Wanna ban rap, stand back before you get hurt It's the only thing they can pay the day besides make them work On the mission, listen He's saying, he's saying right there Y'all guys don't understand our actions Like right there, he it's basically he can't even go out and then him not be like getting into trouble kind of Wanna band rap, stand back before you get hurt. It's the only thing they can pay the day besides make them work. On the mission, listen, much reach my global position. Broke through my decision, I realize the same living. Driven to drive the message, trying to get stacks and cheddar. Motherfuckers say cops wait, it ain't getting better. But you keep telling us that Ooh. <laughs> He said they're just out here trying to get cheddar, you know, but these cops over here thinking, saying that it'll get better, you know, like black, black cops be saying that to the, the, the black men on the streets, you know, out here hustling, but I mean, it really don't, man, it really don't, you know, with that whole thing that happened last year, I'm not going to say this specifically, but there were so many cops that quit, like, of all color races, like it was ridiculous, man. It was ridiculous. What that whole like the BLM movement? It was just. It had to be done. It really did. Cause it really had to be done and said. But man, like that's just wild. And then with with, with it, what if I really this is literally one of the first things I thought of with the George Floyd thing was when Pac said on changes cops give a damn about it pull the trigger kill him. he's a hero y'all guys can fill in the blanks but that's literally like one of the first lines that I thought of when that happened that was literally one of the first lines and then I started thinking of like actual political songs Kendrick Alright um, Untouchable Eminem Lot, like basically any Tupac song I'm not racist Joyner Lucas like there, there was just so many tracks I was thinking of when that whole thing started and then a lot a lot of it though was indeed Tupac a lot of tracks were Tupac himself 
the message trying to get back some cheddar. Motherfuckers hate cops, wait, it ain't getting better. But you keep telling us that it is. Why your motherfucker troops keep killing our kids? Dig, don't be surprised if you see us. Nothing with nothing but artillery to free us. Mother president, damn, Mr. President, tell us what to do. These niggas sacking up in the hood, saying no truth. Damn, Mr. President, tell me what to do. These niggas sacking up in the hood, saying no truth. He said cops and cops coming at us like we some animals. Mm. He said the Glock show. The Glocks weren't even bursting yet. He said the Glock show. And then cops be going crazy. Come on, man. Are you really going to blame someone? Especially back then. Are you really going to blame someone for having, like, a gun on them? Especially on the streets, man. Come on. Like, for, like, that's where I think a lot of this happens. These cops don't understand. Most of these cops don't understand what it's like to be on the streets. Like, and they take, they, they really do take, the, they see that gun, like, on some, with somebody on the streets, and they just, they immediately pull theirs, man. I don't know, man. I like listening to political music, but I don't, I don't really like talking about politics out loud, just because... I don't have a lot of information about it. You know what I'm saying? So why why talk about something that I don't fully understand? And then like and then my just pers personal opinion, no matter who's president, they're going to do good things, but there's going to be that one time they mess up. Every president has done it. Every president has done it. Take our last one for example. Niggas lick shots to watch their glass blow. Coppers and coppers patrol us like we some animals. It ain't no peace. Not a piece of peace on my street. Just people beefing and fish, tweaking on their feet for weeks. Mr. President, it's evident. Nobody really care for a struggle out the gutter. 22 with gray hair. I was raised to raise hell. Frail on my heart stale. Swore I'ma bring down the earth until my heart fell. Or y'all play fair. Give me a mind, I share. Till y'all show us y'all care. Stormy man, I'm out here. Me and these two, two, threes. The freeze the biggest with it. I'm still a nigga. You know, like the little rhyme scheme, the the flow. Who who was that? Who was that? I feel like that was EDI. What? No, that was Castro. That was Castro. His flow right there. I really, I was really messing with the verse, man. They did just really all like this was what I was actually expecting from all of them. They just really all flowing and just talking about their personal struggles and their personal political views of like just politicians in general, you know. This is what I was really expecting, so Sit still fucked up, y'all. And y'all wonder when it's gonna get better. And I want to meet the president. Like, is he too scared to meet me? He's going to turn that around and he say, I guess it's because I'm black again. That's literally what he's going to do. He literally is going to do that, man. Man. Y'all for real. Y'all fill me in. What did Bill Clinton promise? Or what did Big Bill Clinton do? Well, obviously he didn't do nothing. That's why they're complaining about me. What did he promise? He had to have said something specifically. He had to have. Heavenly Father, may I holler at you briefly? I want to meet the president, but will he meet me? He's scared to look inside the eyes of a thug nigga. We're tired of being scapegoats for this capitalistic drug dealing. How hypocritical is liberty? That blind bitch ain't never did shit for me. My history full of casket and stars. My own black nation and war whole family behind bars. And they went to what we saw. 13 looking hard since they had a baby as an adolescent when was gone. Somewhere in the middle of my mind is a nigga on the tightrope screaming, let him die. Can't lie in the club, drowning in my. Somewhere on the line, somewhere down the line, there's a.
there's one of my boys on a tight rope screaming that he want to die. That's that's where some this, these real, real world struggles. That's what they'll do to them, man. They really do. It's sad to say, but not everybody's born to do it. I know I wouldn't. I, <laughs> me on the streets? Heck, no. Nah. I get beat up instantly. Hold up, hold up. Is this soldier in the house? Was that soldier in the house? That's who that is? Big Sky is a super deep voice? Yo, so Sky's been with Tupac since like his debut album. He was a soldier, wasn't he? Like he he was the the vocal on the soldier story, right? Please someone tell me. I've been wondering if that was Tupac or if that was someone else my like entire time listening. Somebody let me know, please. Every word in my letter to the president Blacks is broke, think it's a joke that we live in low Y'all slip and blow, I post on what they hit and fold Tell the secretary it's necessary, we get paid Look what you made, little kids get sprayed Day after day and I look, look what y'all did, y'all made kids get sprayed he, He's blaming the school shootings on politics too Like gun control and everything Which... As someone whose high school has been shot up, I can understand that completely, man. That's what I don't get, man. These artists, when it comes to the school shootings, like, they joke around about it. But then they make these serious, like, tracks where they talk about gun control. And it's like, it's, it's... The gun control, like, tracks mean so much more to me nowadays, you know? Because it's like... What happened in my high school was tragic. It really was. Thankfully, I wasn't there or was even at the high school at the time. But, I mean, it just makes me think, like, something has to be done about it. Something really does. Hey, look what you made. Little kids get sprayed day after day and night after night. Battles and wars to the daylight. We might change or rearrange if you do something. Till then, we're going to keep it coming, Mr. President. Fuck this nigga thing. Cutting taxes, taking off welfare. We supposed to just sit here and go broke and die? Starving? Motherfuckers crazy and motherfuckers scout. Nigga, this dog like West Side. He cut taxes? Clinton cut taxes. Aw, oh, hex no. That was doomed to fail. You can't cut taxes. It's just. As much nice as it would be, you cannot cut taxes. You, you can't do that. Go broke and die, starving. Then that's the result. result. This is the result if you cut taxes. Been saying it since day one. He's been saying it since day one. Clinton really cut taxes though. When you do that, you really you really are putting more people on the streets. You really are. Like taxes suck. Taxes do suck. Like, but I mean you can't you can't just cut them. Cause then you put Man. That was not a smart move. You know white people love that though. They're like, oh my god, we don't got we don't gotta pay eight more cents for our coffee. You know they do. You know that's what they said. I mean, shit. I 
But we can't find peace to my lungs Little niggas on these streets get a piece I know you feel me cause you too need me not to hear me So won't you help a nigga out Saying we cut welfare I got us niggas on the street Thinking who in the hell care Shit, y'all want us to put down our Glocks and our rocks But y'all ain't ready to give us no motherfucking dollars mm. What happened to our 40 acres in the new Oh god, he was going back to slavery days. He said the 40 acres and the mule. But then he said, y'all guys want us to put down our guns. But y'all ain't helping us out. Y'all ain't lending us even a dollar. You can't have it both ways, man. Think you got us looking to loot. Trying to turn all us young niggas into troops. You want us to fight your war? What the fuck I'm fighting for? Shit, I ain't got no love here. You had a check on here. That goes back to the Uncle Sam thing, honestly, right there. That was a long time ago. He's going, he's going far back in history with this like outro right here. Talking about y'all guys want us to fight for our country. Why should we? Our country didn't support us. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying right there. And I don't. I do not blame him. I do not blame him. Taxi. All the black people. Police beating me in the streets. Fuck peace. Niggas acting up. Niggas <laughs> ain't send more troops. Yeah, that one. I was expecting an outro like that from Pac, honestly. Especially on a political song. That, that was something always unique, bro. He was all, he always had... When he puts that message at the end of the track, you know it meant something more to him. It really did. It meant something way more to him. So, that, that, was, a, that was very nice, bro. But um, the song would make more sense if I knew the context behind it. It really would. It would make a lot more sense. But I still, I still really enjoyed it. It was a great track. But, y'all guys, let me know. What did Clinton do? And then, was Big Sky the soldier? Like, uh, Pac fans will understand that. But, if y'all guys enjoy, thank you, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, share this out with more Tupac fans. We're coming to the end of our Tupac grind today, so if y'all guys want more, let me know in the comment section right now. We'll, we'll have another one soon. We will have another one soon. It's, it's, it's quite a bit down the road, but it's de we'll definitely have another one soon. So, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.